Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with the first week of February read. Start from the 1st to the 7th of February 2023. Uh, this reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see how the week is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading, so stay tuned on before I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it's a general read. It may not, may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that are offer as well. Let's uh, dive into the read and let's see Scorpio what is coming in for you for this week time. The Death, Page of Pentacles, The Star the world a, a lot is going to change for you in this week time i mean the deck we do have the seven of cups i really feel like you know there is a lot that you are having no clue about right now what is going to happen what is going to be your next step what shall you do oh how do you need to approach the situation you have no clarity about it i really feel like you know um to you know this day onwards you are going to, you know, whenever you are watching this read in this week time, this day onwards, there is a shift coming in your life. I really feel like, you know, you are going to say no to the old ways of dealing with relationships, uh, connections, love life, work life, home life, and you're going to bring some change in yourself. You're going to look within, you're going to think through things, you're going to try to kind of like, you know, understand what can you do, what can you change in yourself to put yourself on the right path forward so i really feel like you know that understanding that you're gonna have from now onwards to probably one two days time it's gonna make you take certain actions in your life according to your you know whatever it is that you're more concerned about love life work life home life business future plans whatever it is you are going to take certain actions towards that and I feel like, you know, God is leading the way for you right now. You're intuitively guided. You're intuitively taken care of. Um, the ideas that you're having, make sure that you pursue them because God is with you. There is a support. There is a divine support. There is support coming from the people around you as well to get you what you want. Um, so, yes, I really feel like right now, probably you don't see what is the next thing that you need to do. Probably you don't see how you're going to make things work out. But yes you're gonna make it work out you're gonna get through this time so i really feel like you know there will be some decisions that you're gonna make in this uh, week time which is going to uh bring you more powerful changes in your life um let's see some costs for your love life in particular because i feel like it's very generalized energy here that uh, you are going to be taking some major decisions of your life um and not just that you are going to take action towards them as well um and you're being guided as well. So let's see what in particular coming up for you in your love life. What is in particular coming for you in your love life for this week time? So we have five of wands and ace of wands. Now I really feel like, you know, underneath the deck we do have two of swords. Now for some of you, probably there is a love life decision that you are afraid to take right now. Uh, you're scared. You you don't know if it's going to be the right thing for you to do or not. But I really feel like, you know, you are going to take that decision. You know, there is something that you're feeling drawn to take action towards. There is someone, there is this, you know, or maybe you are, you are being guided to take a decision of your love life right now that you are afraid or scared to do right now. But listen to your intuition, listen to your heart. Um, to be very honest, whether you are scared, whether you are not, you are going to take the right decision which you are being guided to take. So I feel like, you know, you just need to relax and you just need to listen to your heart and go with it. Because I really feel like, you know, there is something that you are stressed about. Probably you are stressed about, like, you know, how am I going to work things out in my love life? Take that decision that you, yes, you want to figure things out for yourself and you want to make your love life better. Take that decision uh, and, you know, just make that decision and stick to that decision. The rest is going to be, you know, um, provided by the God that you believe in. So instead of like worrying about it, just know what it is that you want. You want this specific someone, the circumstances are going to go in the favor automatically. You don't have to worry about it. You want, you know, the specific job, take that decision and then go with it. Don't hesitate to take that first decision of yours that yes, you want this. Acknowledge the fact that yes, you want it. And then you are going to be guided to take action towards it as well. So I really feel like, you know, your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, 
I really feel like you know you are stressed about making a choice in that in, in that connection. Probably you are fearful like you know of the lack of support coming from your family or friends. If that's the case, just take the decision for yourself first. God is going to prepare your family, your friends and everyone to, to say yes to that proposal. You got to be so clear in your head without having stress. How is it going to happen? Just believe that you are going to make it happen. You are prepared for it. You are ready to face anything and everything that's going to come your way around it. And then you shall surpass all the, you know, blockages that you might be having around it. So I really feel like, you know, you knowing what it is that you want is the way to go about it. You sticking to that, yes, you're going to make it right. Like, you know, if until unless you give up, you can never fail. You know, you just need to know that this is what you're wanting and you are going to make it happen. You are not saying, you are not taking no for an answer. You're not taking anything that comes your way, uh, which is less than this, that you're wanting. So again, once you decide, you stick to it, you believe in it, nothing in this world can stop you from having what you want. So whatever your love life decision is, that is kind of making you fearful right now. Don't hesitate to take that decision and take that step towards it. Everything is going to be taken care of by the heavens. You will have a lot of support system with you once you take that decision of yours. So allow that, you know, um, that feeling that you're having, that uh, inspired action that you're being guided to take, take that action during this, uh, you know, week time. Um, let's see what is the oracle guidance for you. <clears throat> Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is right for you or best for you. So for majority of you, probably, like, you know, again, if you could look within, you know what is right for you already. You have that intuitive sense heightened that, yes, you are on the right path. Yes, it feels right. Yes, I got to do with, you know, what I got to do, what I got to do with this situation that you're having. So make sure that you listen to all, but do what you feel is right for you instead of like you know blocking your path for yourself by keeping yourself hanging in there not able to make that choice make uh, not able to make that decision of yours don't keep yourself there for long let's see more oracle guidance i am a spirit having a human experience and i am here to get closer to love i feel like you know you got to understand one thing that uh, you know god really wants you to understand who are you you are a spirit definitely and if you are a spirit you have unlimited potential to get what you want, to have what you desire. So don't hesitate to believe in your dreams, desires, and goals that you're craving for to achieve. Just know that you can have it all. It's just that you're, you're, you're just a, a spirit in, in the human body and you can have it all still. You know, whatever you want, whatever you desire, you can definitely have it. So you are very close to get what you want, if and only if you understand this. So that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time. If it was of help, uh, do like, share and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services, including affirmations, check the description box for that. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.